We are live. We're live. My name is Dr. Ken Anderson. We're at the Anderson Center for Hair with Dr. Lee and our patient Charles. And today, I'm going to walk the audience through how we get a great started. It's kind of a fun little thing. Come on over here a second. We're going to have a look at, at Charles' scalp. We've got them all ready to go. How you doing, Charles? Good. All right. How's your day going so far? Perfect. Very good. Remember, it's always... Yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're going to, from this little area here, we're going to extract some follicles for transplantation into the areas of need. And we're going to watch that live right now. All right. Oh, come on over here. We're going to have a look at our instrument tray. We've got the tensioner, the tool, the peanut, fun names. We've got the marcane, got some syringes, some uh, uh, forceps, some gauze, saline, chilled pads, and a beautiful cart. Uh, I'm now going to put on my monogrammed gloves. Because I feel monogrammed uh, uh, disposable gloves are, you know, a little class above, so minor monogram. We're waiting for Dr. Lee's uh, uh, to come in. Okay, so what we're going to do is take the tensioner in our hand. It's got these little tiny spikes to kind of hold on to the scalp. Now, Charles has been anesthetized and he's not going to feel this at all. We're going to go ahead and take this. And we're going to place it right here. Come on in a little closer. So come on over my right shoulder here. Because I know the, the audience is seeing it from over there. But we're going to come right in through here. And uh, how it works is this. Um, I'm gonna, there's little spikes on here that hold on. I'm, I'm going to push them on to Charles. Charles, does that hurt? Nope. Nope. Not at all. Okay. So I'm going to put a little tension on there. Yep. And we're going to place the tensioner. And what the tensioner does is literally hold tension on the skin so that it's, hold on on it for me, so that it's slightly, or not slightly, but significantly under more tension than the surrounding skin so that when the robot punch comes in to extract the follicle, the skin doesn't buckle and the hairs don't get transected. Okay. And you can have a look in here and you can see that the, the skin inside uh, uh, the box is blanched and doesn't compress when I touch it. The skin over here is kind of pink and it blanches a little bit white when I touch it. It's under much less tension. I, and so we're pretty much set here to get going. I'm just gonna make a couple adjustments here and then we're gonna move the chair in. And we're gonna start slow, Charles. I'm gonna kinda do one or two grabs just to make sure that you don't feel it. Okay, we've got the 19 gauge 0.9 millimeter uh, uh, punch on there today. I know there's been some chatter on the internet about huge punches. I don't know who considers 0.9 millimeters huge, but he's probably about that high. Joke. Anyway, so we're going to come in and bring the robot in here. And it's going to kind of orient itself take off my gloves. Let me see. I'm going to sort of show the audience for a second what's going on here. So we've got the robot. It's all centered on Charles's head, specifically the tensioner in there. And if we look up under here, we can see the two stereoscopic cameras there right in the center of the screen. They're looking at us and they're going to examine these hairs surgically and, and remove them. So we're going to come over here to the operator's station. And this is kind of what I'm looking at. I'm going to make some adjustments here. His hair length is 1.2 millimeters. His density is 76 follicular units per centimeter squared, which is very good. Uh, this is a, a virtual head. It's like virtual, we got robots and virtual, virtual reality here. And, we, and this is where we tell the robot where on the head this grid is. And we're starting on Charles's left side of his head at about this position. Ooh. We're starting at about right there. Right there. Okay. So we come back over here. I'm going to take the prompts off. We got a hair here. Okay. Charles, I'm going to do one here and make sure you don't feel it, okay? Perfect. That hurt? Nope, not at all. Not at all. Okay, we're going to take the prompts off. I'm going to do about 10 of these or so. So 
So he's got great angles you can see there. I think it's just a little too far. Very good. That's nine and ten. Okay, we're gonna stop there real brief. I'm gonna raise this up, hand the camera back, get up my monogrammed gloves, and we're gonna have a look see uh, at the graphs that are gonna come out here. I want to I want to make sure that what I'm seeing uh, on the screen, which looks perfect, uh, is reflected in real life. And so we do that by, by turning on the lights. Look at that. Let's put it in the dish so the viewers can see it. That is a gorgeous three-haired follicle. And there's another one. Look at these. They're just beautiful graphs. It's coming right up. There's three. This is going to be a good day. And you can see... Little wee grass, my, my, my professional team of technicians are going to trim some of this tissue off and we're going to get about another 2,700 or 3,000 of these today uh, to transplant. Okay, my name is Dr. Ken Anderson uh, with Dr. Lee at the Anderson Center for Hair. Um, robotic surgery is our passion and patients come from all over the world to, to have our, uh, the Anderson treatment here at our center. Uh, it's going to be a great day with Charles. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. Have a great day and thanks for watching.